Alright, so this random name selecting app, I open a new file. Uh, step one is get the screen the correct layout. Right now my screen is going vertical or portrait. I'm going to go to my screen, so its orientation is going to be landscape. That way it's going to be a sideways screen. So I have more room for larger font to fit width-wise in the screen. I need to I need to get a, a second screen set up. Screen one is going to be for my the name. That when I click the button, a name will appear at random. And the button I'll click to launch is screen number two. So I'm going to go up here and add a screen. Uh, you can call it screen one, screen two, and if you want. You can, I might keep mine screen one, screen two, just kind of keep it simple. So I'm going to OK that. Then I have two screens, screen one and screen two. Screen 2 can also make the same kind of concept. I want to have my orientation be landscape. The screen 2 and screen 1 both match. Let's go back to screen 1. Here I want to have um, up in the middle a large chunk of screen for the font for my label and below it two buttons. So I'm going to set up some kind of a layout. Uh, I may pick two of these horizontal arrangements just so it fits my screen better. Um, the top one I may name I'm going to keep it the same. I uh, have in here width fill the parent and this guy here also fill parent width fill parent. I'll make this top one height let's be a little bit more greedy. Let's have it take up percent maybe like 60 percent of the screen and then the bot oops sorry bottom one a little less greedy sorry when they're on one bottom one bottom one 30 percent of the screen top one would be a little bit more this goes 60 percent of the screen all right i want to have a label here and two buttons here so i'll take care of that I just got my label set, my background set, my arrangement set, and button set. Next, I want to go over to screen two and set up those items. Here, I want to have um, a big label on top, which is my countdown number timer, and some buttons over here to kind of select some stuff. But let's first get that random name thing figured out back over here. So the code might look like this. Let's get my random name selecting button figured out and my screen two button figured out. So I've got my code blocks. So for my screen two button, it's a one click do. And it's going to open a screen, the screen name. In this case, my screen name is. Let's see, screen two and screen one. So I'm on screen one. I want to have this open a screen with the screen name. Here's spelling counts. Um, check my spelling my screen. Can't see it. Just gotta scroll over. Capital S, or case screen, the number two, no spaces. Okay. So it's capital S, or case screen, number two, no spaces. This should get me my open screen two, one click. So one clicked, open screen, screen name, screen two. Next, I gotta figure out the random name option. So for this one here, click for a name. That's going to be a one click do. In this case I want to first get a variable set up and I'm going to call mine, I'll keep it at name. I want to make it a list of random names. So my variable is going to be a list, a list of random names. I need to add, so gear wheel, I can add 
more items to my list. Just drag, drop, drag, drop. You want one per student in the class. And get text box, one per student in the class. I'll just make a few and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so I made a variable, call it name, and I made a list of all students in the class. I just got five. You can fill everyone else in. Of course, use your real names. I just use A, B, C, D for now. Here's my variable of all my names. And then when the button is clicked, when my random name selector button is clicked, it's what it's going to do is going to take and set the label I created, the text of the label to just pick a random item from list of the names. So I click, it looks for this list, picks a random item, there's your name. Click, pick from a random list, there's your name. What I want now is um, I'm beginning of the screen, when I first log into the screen, I want to make sure that my label says what I want to say. So I want to have uh, my screen when screen initialized. This is when the screen first turns on, screen first is um, activated. I want to have that label text. So I'm going to go set label text, not text color. Label set label text to, in this case I have mine saying the word name question mark, so I'll match that. So I use my text box is going to be to the word name question mark. That way when the screen first turns on, no matter where I'm at in my selecting the names, it'll come back to this name. Um, what else? Those should get the code, you get the name selected, and those picked. So kind of work with that as far as your screen two goes. Uh, nothing major new here. So we have a label you know how to make for numbers. Um, the countdown timer, some you made it, some you didn't. The same as you did for the stopwatch, that goes here. A uh, start button, you did me before. A stop reset button, you made before. I need a um, go to screen one button. You just made one of those, so same as that. But the correct and incorrect buttons, those we're going to use some code blocks um, that deal with, I'll show you on screen one. So those code blocks might be something with the screen. So let's say when click do, you can set the screen background color to a green for correct, red for no. You can set um, the label and the numbers to a word. I can do um, kind of anything I want to make it show that answer is correct or incorrect. The key is, as far as the timer goes, when the correct button is pressed, clock is killed, screen changes, and some kind of a correct answer is shown. When the wrong answer is said, the wrong button is picked, the clock is killed, some kind of a design for the wrong answer is given. You want your reset button to reset the screen. So when click, it's going to get the screen back to the color it is, all the text back to where it is, get the screen reset. All right, so there's the basics of this random name selector app. Hey, good luck.